guys, 4 Bros Filming welcomes you to this episode. As you have known, Google's and Amazon's most important product and some of their most popular product that they have made recently is Amazon's Echo, which incorporates with Amazon Alexa and Google's recent home. And Apple has been seeing this and they and this is their response, the Apple HomePod. It is Apple's attempt at a digital assistant slash music player. I feel like rather than making this priceless architecture damaged, we could have just done this. Yeah, totally. Well, nonetheless, it matters what we do now. Here the thing is, what is this? So, it has a really nice, comfy uh, fabric mesh feeling. I believe that this has an A8 processor, an Apple A8 processor. Based on where you put it and how you set it up, the processor can calibrate each sound wave directly so that it can give the sound from each of the speakers so that it can give the sound to directly where you want it. For example, if I put it over here, it will calibrate the sound so that it moves this way. And Okay, now starting up, I'm seeing this beautiful haze. Oh, yeah. It's kind of loading. Yeah, it's loading. Okay, yeah, it's here. Ooh. Probably read these instructions because honestly, I have had no experience setting up any kind of home hub or digital assistant slash speaker. Okay, connect to Wi-Fi and turn on Bluetooth on your iOS device with that latest version of iOS. So apparently, the Apple HomePod doesn't let you play much mu many music options unless you sign up for Apple Music subscription. Which is honestly not a good thing because then that means you can't play Spotify, you can't play Amazon Music. All of Apple's products have been more on more of the expensive region along with this, but they've had more of quality. But with this product, the HomePod, I'm not seeing much of that, you know, extra quality that it gives over its competitors like Amazon Alexa and Google Home. For $350, it doesn't really offer much. And that's not even taking into consideration that Google Home and Alexa Echo Plus are both half, less than half the price of this device. Okay, so if you're comparing digital assistant abilities, I think Google Home and Amazon Alexa have much more advanced functionalities than Apple HomePod. And honestly, even though it doesn't matter in Apple HomePod's review, if you're looking for generally the best digital assistant device ever, I think Amazon Echo Plus, that model hits the top, hits number one. I think Apple might have actually targeted music enthusiasts. I mean, this is a really small thing. It has got seven speakers and a subwoofer. So despite having high power microphones and high power processor, it still can't even di distinguish between multiple people voices. One person calling it will sound just like the other. Another flaw I found is it's like a very, very irresponsible male person. If you have connected your phone to Apple HomePod, anyone just walking by can ask your, ask Siri to reveal your messages and she will gladly destroy your privacy and you'll feel very horrible. This is powerful for such a tiny thing. Pluses and drawbacks put together. I think it's a really good powerful speaker really good microphones really good speaker and a really Really powerful subwoofer. You can literally feel it But because of its high price its limitations and the choice of music you can play and its low performance as a digital assistant device It's really not worth it. I think Apple has a long way to catch with Alexa and Google especially 
Amazon's Echo Plus. Bye bye Siri, you're useless. Hey Siri, have you subscribed to Fobo's filming yet?